Yeah. Oh. So, the reason I built this camper van was for bike storage, to be honest. So, um, that's why it was built the way it was built, to put my bikes in and that sort of stuff. However, I don't really use it like I'd want to use it. So, I want to go off grid places, you know, like this campsite now, um, and use my bike and then sleep in it again. But, as everyone knows, you start to sweat when you've had a bike ride. I've got a solution. And that is, is this portable shower from Gasland. So today, we're gonna to take a look at it. So this is the G10 from Gasland. Hello, I'm just gonna interrupt this video very, very quickly, just to say that when you watch this shower, you'll notice that, um, or you may not notice, or you'll definitely notice now, I'm gonna tell you. Um, the surround here, this little surround, this little window, is actually missing on the, on the one I recorded. So, um, yeah, just to let you know, it doesn't come like that, it actually comes like this. So, uh, so yeah, cheers. All you need is a gas bottle and some water. So let's have a look. Yeah, so all you need is two cell D batteries. That's for the igniter. They plug into the bottom. Everything you need. Nice that. So, water out, water in. We're gonna screw on the outlet for the shower. Connect that. Connect your gas, which most of us have got these in our van anyway. Into there. And then you water in. So for my van, I'm gonna hang it up here and I'll be able to have a shower in the middle of nowhere. And all you do is turn the gas on. Turn the water on. There you go. And as soon as the water's flowing through, as soon as the water's flowing through, the boiler starts to heat up so it igniter. So as soon as you turn the water on, so the water's off at the moment, but as soon as you turn the water on, as soon as you turn the water on, it fires up. It fires up, so the gas automatically warms it up for you. So at the moment you can see it's 40, 45 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely boiling. So to cool it down, you just add more water, so it'll flow more water through and turn the amount of gas it's using down as well. And it will start to cool down. So yeah, as you can see, it's very portable, seven kilograms. Uh, the shower head has multiple different options. So massage mode, relax mode. Uh, it's 10 liters per minute, comes out of here. So, I mean, arguably it's better than the one I've got at home, to be honest, a shower at home. So twist off, twist on, twist off, twist on, or you can push it on and it'll permanently stay on. 
hot. It heats water up, honestly, in seconds. As soon as water comes on, it's literally that quick. Um, the way it ignites is just a battery pack under here. So the battery pack goes in there, it clicks in, clicks out, and just one-handed, straight into there like that, simple as that. And then what happens is, there's, there's no turning on, turning off. So at the moment you can see it's off, and that's because the water's not flowing. Uh, we can see that for the, um, the pilot, pilot light in there, and obviously there's no ignition on there. So as soon as you want the water to come on, or the boiler to come on, turn the shower on, quick flick, and it comes on. And that will start, in fact, straight away, that's already 27 degrees, 28 degrees, arguably too hot to have a shower. So yeah, perfect for camper van, caravan, outdoor shower for your dog. There you go, simple as that. So just water's off at the moment, boiler's off. As soon as you hear, that, you hear it firing in, just clicks in there. And that now is, is lovely already, straight away for a shower. Like I say, it's portable. The handle has... So depending on your location, so you can here on the end where I've got it, or you can bring it to the middle, there, or a little bit further forward for there. And like I say, one-handed, seven kilograms. There we go, as quick as that. So it's perfect as well. So something else I like to do as well, I paddleboard a lot, uh, different canals and rivers and stuff, and the paddleboarding, you know, transferring paddleboard from one canal to a river and stuff, you've got to be careful because of water pollution, that sort of stuff. So this for me is going to be ideal. At least I don't have to chuck it into the back of the paddleboard, into the back of the van, dirty. So I use this to clean the paddleboard before I chuck it in the van. I use it to clean my bike. Um, yeah, if you are interested in getting yourself one of these Gaslands G10s, I will leave a, a link in the description. And uh, if you use the discount code that's on screen now, you will save a little bit of discount. So um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and if you don't mind, I'm going to go have a shower. In peace. Thank you.